Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today we are playing a little bit of Five Color Humans um, using Joda the Unifier. And we are also playing the new card, Thalia and the Gitrog Monster, which, uh, because it is a team-up that includes Thalia, it is a human, a human frog horror, for one white, black, green, for a 4-4 with first strike and death touch. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Creatures are non-basic lands your opponents control into the battlefield tapped. Whenever Thalia and the Gitrog Monster attack, sacrifice a creature or land, then draw a card. So it's basically taking the two abilities of Thalia, Heretic Cathar, and the Gitrog Monster, and smashing them together in an extremely fun way. Um, so it has both first strike and death touch, so it's incredibly hard to kill in combat and uh, can immediately get you some advantage by letting you play another land. And then if it sticks around, um, it's a very difficult uh, thing for your opponent to tangle with and will eventually just uh, kind of develop a great amount of card advantage for you. So I'm excited to try that in this deck. And then we are running two copies of Joda the Unifier, which is a Wooburg um, spell for a 5-5 that says legendary creatures you control get plus X plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. And whenever you cast a legendary spell from your hand, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a legendary non-land card with lesser mana value. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. So it basically has legendary cascade. So each of your legendary spells will then chain into another one. So that's very, very tasty. And it is just a base 6-6 even by itself, but um, this deck is technically five color humans. You could also call it five color legends, five color legend humans, human legends, legendary humans, etc. Um, because most of the creatures we are running are legendary creatures. So we've got three copies of Skrelv Defectomite, which although not a human, um, does act as the kind of uh, shield of the deck um, with its ability to give any one of your other creatures hexproof um, from a particular colour um, and also unblockable from that colour if you particularly want to um, be more aggressive with it. Um, and you can do that for a Frexian mana, so you don't need to hold up mana to be able to activate its ability. You just need to pay two life. Um, then we're running three copies of Thalia, Guardian of Thraben, a great legendary creature that says 2-1 first strike and non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Three copies of Thalia's Lieutenant to grow all of our humans. One copy of Denik, which is a card we haven't seen in many decks before, but is a 2-3 with lifelink that says cards in graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities, um, and it can come back if it's killed into Denik Pious Apparition. And then we've got four copies of General's Enforcer, which is a great card in the deck, which is a 2-3 for two so it's a good early play but it also says legendary humans you control have indestructible so your opponent can't just wrath the board while this is on the battlefield they have to kill it first um, and it can also create one one white human soldier tokens as well We've got three copies of Catilda, which turns all of your humans into mana dorks, as well as uh, in uh, in gr long grindy games, you could use its ability as a mana sink to grow all of your creatures. Um, three copies of Adeline, Resplendent Cathar, which we've seen before in the mono white humans list. General Kudro of Draneth, which is a human lord. Um, King Darian the 48th, which does a, a similar effect, um, grows all of your other creatures. Um, three copies of Lagrellum the Magpie, which is one of the removal cards in the deck, so it can uh, it's a kind of exile a, a, a creature uh, an opponent controls, but you can also exile one of your own um, at the same time, and then potentially bring it back later with two plus one plus one counters on it. Shana Purifying Blade, which is a 3-3 three, three with lifelink that lets you draw cards equal to the number, the amount of life you gained um, if you pay X at the end of your turn. Then the three copies of Thalia and the Gitrog Monster, Joda, and then we're running three copies of Leyline Binding, just as a uh, cheap and versatile removal spell, um, which we're putting in because we are running Rafine's Tower and Indithar Triome, so we do have lots of different basic land types. And there's a lot of white in the mana base, as you'd expect. You know, a lot of our cheap creatures have white in the mana cost. In fact, all of them do. Uh, all of our creatures have white in the mana cost, in fact. In fact, all of our cards do. There you are. So yes, lots of white. Um, but also we're running four copies of Plaza of Heroes, which lets you spend mana of any colour to cast legendary spells, secluded courtyard and unclaimed territory, which are tribal lands, so you can just uh, choose human when you play them, and then uh, then add one mana of any colour to play a human. So although it's five um, colour and the mana base of five colour decks is always ambitious, we do have 12 lands which can basically play almost all of our cards uh, as any well, as matter of any colour. So that's very good. 
And then on the sideboard, we've got three copy, three more copies of Denik if we need uh, to uh, stop our opponent using their graveyard or anything like that. Um, we've got an, a Brutal Cathar. We've got four copies of Brutal Cathar, in fact, to uh, help deal with problematic creatures. Three copies of Wedding Announcement for those long, grindy games that create humans and then flips into an Anthem effect. Two copies of Outland Liberator, which is also a human, um, but can destroy problematic enchantments or artifacts that our opponent controls, and then three copies of Elite Spellbinder, um, which disrupts our opponent's hand. So there's lots of human synergies, lots of legendary synergies, five colour, uh, which is always a, a challenge, but a fun one to play, and we are using the new Thalia and the Gitrog monster, so we will see how that plays in this deck. Go on to the ladder and see how we go on. Hmm, oh dear, one land, not not good with this kind of hand, so we'll mulligan that. Oh, that's that's somehow worse, so we're gonna have to mulligan again. Okay, I did I did put land in this deck, I promise. So let's pop back a Lagrella and a General's Enforcer because we can't cast it. And uh go from here. Okay, so it looks like we're playing a control deck, so let's play Katilda, which does at least give us uh, some extra mana. So we will choose human, then I think we will try and play Adeline, just because... We... Okay, it looks like they didn't have a sensor or anything like that. Okay, the Celestus is an interesting draw, so let's play the Gitrog monster. And let's see what they can do. So yeah, slightly different to the usual um, blue-white control you see. Do they have Verdict? No, but I'm prepared to bet they've got a, something like the Wandering Emperor in hand. Do I care about that? No, I don't think so. Let's just go for it. Discard. Sacrifice a human, rather. Yep. Um, should we bind the emperor? No, I don't think so. Let's just play enforcer, give our legendary humans a bit of protection. Okay. Uh, human. Let's play Lagrella. Fair enough. I'll just go to attacks. They have to block Adeline here, or die. Good, good. So they're down to four. Yep, they are looking for farewell. I can read that play. <laughs> nope, they didn't get it. Okay, so that was a good first game. So uh, yeah, kind of blue-white control, but a little different to what we're used to seeing. So I think I'll pop in Spellbinders and Wedding Announcements. And I might put in Outland Liberator as well, actually, just because it will be good at dealing with their 
maze mine tomes and celestuses and the like. We'll take out Lagrella. Don't think that does much good here. Um, trim one Skrelv as well. Da -da, what else? What else don't I particularly like here? Thalia's great. Trim one ley line binding. Adeline's good. Enforcer's good. Thalia's lieutenant is good. Catilda. Hmm. Catilda was good there because it. Well, actually, we didn't even use its mana ability. Let's let's trim Catilda actually and see how we go on without that in the in this matchup. Sure. Yeah, I think so, because Thalia is good. Wedding announcement can be good for a grindy matchup, Leyline Binding. Okay, the birth of Melitus, fair enough. Well, let's play Thalia while the shields are down. Uh, so, General Kudro. Okay, sure thing. Pass the turn. You know, Joe does an interesting draw. Okay, so let's play another land. Let's play Wedding Announcement. Okay. Yeah, happy for them to keep using their counter spells. Uh, yeah, let's try and play Joda. Yep, fair enough. Uh, which case I shall try and play Skrelv. Then I shall play Shana. And I shall save Joda for another day. Yep, yep. So I'm quite liking where we are at the moment, even if they wrath, we have the potential to play Joda. Got borrower. Okay, yeah, so they're farewelling, fair enough. So we'll just go straight into playing Joda here and hold up Leyline binding. Hmm. Fair enough. Giant killer, that's not a card you see hugely often anymore, but 
You do you, I suppose. All right, let's play Spellbinder. Okay, they've got nothing interesting in their hand, so we'll pass the turn. Yep. See so if they want to pop Yorian into play. I would be fine with that. Because I'll just get rid of it with binding. No, okay. Uh, we'll bind their brazen borrow instead then. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll scoop this one up. We'll go to game three. That farewell there was uh, followed by the immediate removal spell on Joda was too much for us. So let's pop in the other Skrelv on the play. Maybe a couple of Catildas, and we will take out Thalia's lieutenant. Yep. So yeah, a couple of interesting games there. Yep, this is a decent hand. Human? Human? Catilda? Uh, now let's spellbinder them, I think. Sure thing. I'll spellbinder them again. Okay, they've got counter spells for days, but we will play General's Enforcer now. Uh, let's try and play Adeline. Go to attacks. All right, I'll just play it again. Fair enough. Okay, let's play Thalia and the Gitrog monster. No, no farewell this turn, at least. Yeah, just the birth of Melitus I could live with. Um, yep. Keep doing what we're doing. Uh, 
Oh, fun. Starnheim Unleashed, okay. So let's attack. Sack a land. Play Shana. Pass the turn. So I assume we're just dead here, but... Let's attack and see what happens anyway. Hmm. Yep, good game, opponent. Uh, yep, this is an okay opening hand. So we'll start with Rafine's Tower. Okay, some form of zombie. So let's human, play Denik. Okay, so we are facing a sort of graveyard recursion deck. So let's play Skrelv into Lieutenant. Attack with Denik. Oh, Phyrexian Arena, that's fun. Uh, secluded Courtyard, Human. Let's offer a trade here. Yep. Now let's play Thalia and the Gitrog Monster. Plaza of Heroes, pass the turn. So we shall be matching them card for card, but... Shield rid the apocalypse, eh? Fair enough. Well, we've got plenty of life, so let's attack. Discard, uh, sacrifice the land. Play Joda. Obviously should have played Joda pre-combat. That's okay. We will we will learn from our mistakes.
Um, so we've got protection of Skrelv. We're coming in for a very big attack next turn. We can General Kudro for more life and the Cascade effect. Yeah, we seem to be in okay shape here. Yeah, that's a card. It's also a card. They all come into play tapped, though. So let's play General Kudro, Cascade. To Catilda. So they should be dead here. Okay, that was uh, the deck going off a little bit there. So, cards in graveyards can't be the targets of spells or abilities. Does that matter against mono black? Mm, I don't think so, but let's put in Brutal Cathar. I will put in another Denek, just because I quite like having a 2-3 lifelink. Lines up very well against their um, 2 1 recursive threats. And we will take out. Guardian of Thraben. One copy of Leyline Binding. Yep. Yeah. I assume you want to be on the play opponent. So you might want to let us know. There we are. Yes. Yes to this hand. So let's open with a Skrelv. Yeah, Thought Seize is not great, but if our Skrell survive, it's not the end of the world. I think Attilda is probably the right choice for them here, just slow us down a little bit. But Lagrella is a good card. You know, they're all good cards, let's be honest. Yeah, I'd definitely take Catilda. I think if if they don't, well, if they have a removal spell for Skrelv, maybe they can think a little bit differently. But assuming they don't, I think you just have to try and slow down my mana development. No, okay, they're taking Adeline. Fair enough. 
In which case, I shall play Human Catilda. Pass the turn. Protection from werewolves. One of those words which just... It's just there. I've never known it to matter. Maybe it will one day. Keep hovering over it. If they try and kill it, they might regret it. You're going to have to kill Skrell first. Fair enough. Um, yes, I will discard... Discard sacrifice some. Um, what am I sacrificing here? Catilda... Because I think I'm going to attack down Liliana next turn. Maybe keeping Skrelv alive is better. Yeah. Triome. Kill Liliana. Pass the turn. Interesting. Okay, let's get rid of Joda and... Um, no, let's get rid of the Gitrog monster and General Kudro here. We don't have enough land to justify keeping the Gitrog monster, sadly. Um. Okay, let's play Lagrella. Take away that. Pass the turn. Hmm. Okay. Gonna have to hope for the best now. Okay, Rafine ta Rafine's tower is a good start. So let's play General's Enforcer. That at least gives us a, the ability to block Shieldred. Okay, well, let's make a start by giving that hexproof from black. Sure thing. Oh, Leyline Binding's good. Okay. So let's binding. Take away Shieldred. Attack. Fair enough. Okay, so we're going to be facing down a lot of damage here. Yeah, no, they were better off um, pumping their knight. Okay, like quite like Shana as a draw. 
So let's attack with Lagrella. And then I think I'm going to attack with her. If I don't draw a land, I'm attacking with Shana regardless, because I think drawing three cards in this board state would be very, very good. Okay, drew a land instead, so let's just play Joda. Pass the turn. Yep. Good, like that. Please do nothing else, nothing else. At the beginning. No, she has to survive for me to be able to do that, unfortunately. So we'll pass again. Uh, this is getting pretty rough now. Can't get through these nights, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. Or card draw. That is what we wanted to see. Yeah, as long as they don't draw Fatal Push. Doesn't look like it. Draw four cards. Okay, now we're, now we're in much better shape. They do have good cards as well, though, so... They are oopsing me quite a lot, so either they... Yes, I think they are not enjoying what's just happened. <laughs> yeah, I think this is them giving up. <laughs> Whew, okay, we got there. Okay, I'm pumped after that second match. We are... We are on a roll. I can feel it. Statements that precede unfortunate events. We're on a roll. I can feel it. It's mono green. We're not on a roll. <laughs> well, that's fun. Um, let's play General Kudro. That way our uh, Thalia can tangle with the Harbinger. Bringer? Binger? Binger. What is a har Harbinger? Mmm, binge. I've no idea. Um, let us play Adeline.
Okay, Kiora is a card. Okay, so they are elving like mad. So let's attack Kiora. Uh, what's happening here? Uh, sure. Now we'll play the Gitrog monster. What is happening here? Fair enough. <laughs> I have no idea. An interesting variation of mono green, not cards you often see in that deck. Um, so let's pop in Spellbinder and Brutal Cathar. And we will take out Denik, General's Enforcer, one Leyline Binding on the draw, and a Skrelv. Working under the assumption that the opponent has not much interaction, although they might have fight, fight spells, possibly, um, with this slightly weird configuration of mono green. This is a good hand. Wolf Willow Haven. So they've got infinite land. Let's drop Thalia anyway, just because we can. Oh, hello. Ooh, Vorinclex. I like it. I mean, I don't like it that much. I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but... <laughs> oh, oh, I am so dead. <laughs> um, so how much mana have they got? Four, six, seven, eight. No, no, five, six, seven. Okay, so they can't quite play Portal to Phyrexia next turn. So let's play the Gitrog monster. A land. Pass the turn. Mill ten cards. <laughs> sure, sure. Right, okay, so let's pop back in one of the leyline binding. Uh, and let's take out one Thalia in the Get Rock Monster. <laughs> it's slow, but I'm going to keep it. Because it has Lagrella. Okay, well, if we can survive... Human. Goodbye. Uh, 
Okay, so they've got four, potentially four mana here. Okay. So let's play the Gitrog monster. Attack Khan. What are they going to get? Chariot. Okay, that makes sense. Well, at least they're out of cards, he says. So let's... Let's kill their planeswalkers. Sacking a land. And they've got Five mana available. Let's just Brutal Cathar away this. Okay, good. Uh, human, Thalia, Thalia's Lieutenant, go ham, Plaza of Heroes, take away one of these. Okay, we got there against Mono Green. Very good. So yeah, that is five color humans. I quite like that. Yeah, Thalia and the Get Rock Monster did some good work. It's just a very aggressive, powerful card that's hard for the opponent to deal with, especially if they don't have removal. So yeah, this is the deck. One last time. I think potentially if I were to change something, I might pop in one more Joda, take out one Leyline Binding. That would probably be a better way around. We never really use those that much. And having Joda on the battlefield is very good. This played very well. Yeah, and no, I'm quite happy with this configuration. Um, so yeah, that's the deck. As ever, hit those like and subscribe buttons, make comments, make suggestions for new decks, and I will see you next time.